Hello guys, Softoni here, welcome to another video tutorial, first like always I want to thank you for watching this video lesson and in this tutorial we're going to create this uh, really cool and awesome water liquid animation. Uh, second thing I want, to uh, I want to tell you is to subscribe on my channel uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and of course uh, turn on the bell icon so you can always be notified whenever I post a new clip. So uh, let's see what we can create today. Alright, here we are in After Effects 2021 and first like always we're going to create a new composition, we will name it uh, wave logo and for this uh, width and height uh, like usual uh, 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 seconds per seconds and duration 6 seconds long hit ok and then uh, right click here in our timeline go new and then uh, choose solid layer we will uh, rename it background and go here in effects and preset type uh, for for color gradient all right drag and drop here in our uh, background solid layer and for this uh, position and controls use handles to readjust a few settings like this and you can also use eyedropper to uh, choose this uh, blue uh, color like this and this first color will be maybe uh, this cyan blue color all right um, uh, next thing uh, what we're gonna do is to create our waves and we will do here a new composition control plus m and we will call it waves also 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second duration six seconds long and then hit ok also we will add solid layer right click then new and choose here um, solid layer and we will rename it wave okay uh, next effect that we're going to uh, use is radio waves. I forgot to mention if you can find this effects and preset, go window and then uh, choose here uh, effects and preset here uh, this panel. Okay, drag and drop this effect here in uh, wave um, solid layer and it's time to readjust a few settings. Now we have a scene like this. For this color of course we will do a white color uh, frequency 0 0.1 expansion we will uh, we will leave it to 5 and also here for start with go 1 and end with go 100 when we hit 0 now we have animation like this all right but for the lifespan we will do 2 seconds okay Go to around zero uh, frames, uh, hit a keyframe here on stop, watch for start with and end with. Go around uh, two seconds and for this start with uh, hit 100 and for end with hit zero. Also we can expand up this expansion up to eight and now our animation in our timeline look, uh, is looking like this. All right, uh, next effect that we're going to add is Gaussian blur, drag and drop to our wave layer and then for blurriness go around 45. All right, and third effect is turbulent displays. Okay, you can play around with this effect, but uh, for this tutorial I will do displacement, maybe bulge or twist. Uh, it's, uh, it completely depends on you find what is be best option for your waves. For me, this bulge is, is looking pre pretty nice. Now it's time to duplicate this uh, wave layer. Go here and then edit, duplicate or control plus D and we will readjust this wave scene around our timeline. Also duplicate once again, something like this, all right. And then readjust it here in our timeline like this and when we hit zero we're getting this really cool wavy animation all right it's time to uh, go back uh, here in our wave logo i will close this uh, waves composition for now 
uh, and we will import these waves uh, here in our wave logo, logo composition. Now we have an animation like this and it's time to add uh, our next effect first. We will add, uh, go right click and then new and then uh, find adjustment layer. We will name it caustics and find the same effect here in effects and presets. All right, drag and drop here in our timeline and now we will readjust a few settings for this water surface we will call uh, we will choose this uh, those waves and we're getting like something like this surface color you can choose from white to to blue whatever fits on you hit ok and play around here with those uh, water options for wave height maybe around 0 0.040 um, also smoothing water depth refractive index play around until options that you uh, choose are good for your logo reveal maybe something like this or maybe to lower down this refractive index all right also you can choose here uh, from normal blending mode to overlay to get a look like this uh, next effect that we're going to create uh, is a drizzle effect first also uh, add another adjustment layer we will name it drizzle and find the same effect here in effects and preset also for this uh, drip rate uh, drip rate go around 20 uh, longevity to maybe around maybe around 8 and for displacement go around maybe 50 okay now when we hit 0 we have an animation like this okay now it's time to import our logo i have my logo here in our solid slayer just drag and drop here in our timeline of course you will import your own footage hit s if you need to scale your logo i will scale it maybe around 40 45 percent and uh, one thing for uh, this uh, drizzle uh, uh, adjustment layer for this drizzle effect we will do displacement instead of 50 20. Okay, next thing what we're gonna do is to add a fill effect to our logo. Choose fill in our effects and preset, drag and drop here in our timeline. And I will choose uh, this uh, awesome cyan blue color for this uh, video tutorial. Of course, uh, when you importing your own text or your own logo, you will import your own color. Okay, uh, now we will animate this uh, logo. Uh, this our logo placeholder hit s for your scale here in our timeline go around uh, two seconds uh, hit on this stopwatch go around uh, go to zero hit also zero here in our scale parameter and we have an animation like this also we will add another effect uh, cc radial fast blur for this logo and for this blur center go and do something like this all right now we will duplicate this uh, logo layer and move it up here in our on our on top of the other layers and hit t on your keyboard for opacity or find here in transform panel go to around uh, two seconds hit uh, on this stopwatch for opacity go around zero and then go around maybe four seconds and go around maybe 70 percent okay now when we hit zero where we have this really cool and awesome creative animation Now grab this uh, first and this uh, um, 
second logo here, hold control on your keyboard, hit S for uh, scale parameters, choose those keyframes and then hit F9. Now when we hit zero, uh, we added a little ease for this uh, logo, for this uh, logo animation. All right, uh, now it's time to add a little bit of uh, light here in our scene. Go right click and then uh, choose another adjustment layer. We will call it light sweep. And type also here light sweep and drag and drop our light sweep effect here in our timeline. Edge intensity go zero and also edge thickness for this direction uh, 90, maybe around 90 shape smooth and drag this handle here in our logo center also uh, drag this light sweep here behind this uh, logo uh, logo placeholder and then hit t for this uh, light sweep for opacity maybe around 60. now when we hit zero we're getting this really cool looking light sweep here in our uh, center of this composition maybe to lower this just a little bit for about 50 and also we can do a little bit of lens here right click and then choose a new solid choose another adjustment layer new adjustment layer we'll we will call it lens flare and also type here lens flare also drag and drop in here in our adjustment layer for this lens type maybe 35 millimeters prime and go around here something or on this side for better looking scene and for flare brightness we can go, we can go around 150 and blend with original maybe around 35 okay really cool also what we can do is to add another uh, solid layer or another adjustment layer uh, we will name it spotlight and also type here spotlight drag and drop here in our spotlight adjustment layer and grab these handles to readjust this effect for this edge softness 100, a cone angle around here, height also change maybe around 75, play around with this effect too until you have satisfied with this option and really cool for intensity maybe to do around 55 really really cool now when we hit zero in our timeline we have this really awesome wavy logo liquid animation also if you want to uh, see full looking your logo just hit t on your keyboard and uh, drag opacity and uh, for about 100 but I will leave it for 70% for now. And guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. Uh, first, uh, I want to thank you again for watching this video. Hope you learned something new. Take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. If you haven't subscribed to my uh, profile, to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon so you can always be notified whenever I post a new clip. And until next time, stay creative and bye-bye.